Ever wondered why after a fire, the only parts that usually remain are teeth? The answer is enamel. Enamel is the outermost part of the crown covering the dentin. It's the hardest part of the human body due to the fact that it's highly mineralized, making it harder than both dentin and bone. Enamel is known for its avascular and acellular structure, meaning it has no blood vessels or cells. Due to that, it can't be replaced if it's damaged, and it has no capacity for repair. It is also dynamic, meaning it goes through stages of demineralization and remineralization by exchanging ions with the surrounding environment. Besides being the hardest tissue in the body, enamel is also semi-permeable, allowing small molecules and ions to pass through. The innermost enamel is more permeable than the outermost enamel. Enamel has no collagen, making it inflexible and brittle. High mineralization not only accounts for the hardness of enamel, but also for its translucency. So the color of the tooth is affected by the color of the underlying dentin. It has low thermal conductivity and expansion so it protects the pulp from any temperature fluctuations. So, what makes up enamel? Enamel is made up of three parts. The inorganic part is made up of minerals which form 95 to 97% of the structure, while the organic material is less than 1%. The remaining 2 to 3% is made up of water. As we mentioned earlier, enamel is mainly composed of minerals such as calcium hydroxyapatite crystals. These hexagonal crystals are highly organized to form rods and interrods that exhibit different crystal orientations. Surrounding these rods and crystals is a fine network of organic matrix called the rod sheath. So, how is enamel organized? It's important for us to understand the orientation of enamel in restorative dentistry because unsupported enamel is prone to fracture. Enamel is organized into rods and into rods. The rods extend from the dentin to the outer surface of enamel. However, we have rodless areas of enamel at the zone immediately adjacent to dentin and at the outermost 30 to 50 micrometers of enamel. Yet, enamel isn't perfect. For starters, under the microscope, you may clearly see some lamella, tufts, and even spindles. But what are those exactly? The enamel lamella is a crack extending towards the dentino enamel junction containing abnormally high levels of organic material. This defect provides a pathway of entry for bacteria that may initiate caries, thus weakening the tooth. Enamel tufts, on the other hand, are formed due to a change in the orientation of the rods. They appear as branched, dark, short lines and exhibit high levels of protein. These tufts extend from the dentine enamel junction into about one-tenth of the enamel thickness. Lastly, enamel spindles represent the trapped odontoblast processes that fail to withdraw during enamel mineralization. They appear as short, dark, finger-like extensions from the dentine enamel junction into the enamel. Other features that you may see microscopically are stria of rhesus, which are dark striations that run in a cuspal direction. The exact reason why these lines are present is still unclear. Another feature is the neonatal line. It represents the border between the enamel formed before and after birth. It could also be formed due to a sudden change in the environment after birth, which causes a metabolic disturbance in the ameloblasts. 
It can be seen in all primary teeth and the permanent first molars. As you age, so does your enamel. First of all, the enamel becomes less permeable due to a reduction in the spaces between the crystals. Your teeth may also become more sensitive due to attrition and wear. On the bright side, your enamel becomes harder with age as the hydroxyapatite crystals become more mineralized. However, as the enamel becomes thinner, the underlying dentin color will become more visible, causing the teeth to darken. Last but not least, the risk of caries actually decreases with age due to certain ion exchanges between the tooth and the oral environment. And we've reached the end of our video. If you found it helpful, make sure you take a look at our other videos. Hope you enjoyed this!